Well, here I am again. I've been reading this book. It's called uh, Neither to Weep, uh, Neither to Laugh Nor to Weep. See it? Um, it's a story uh, by this. Oh, what's his name? Vartan. Well, it's by Abraham Hartunian. Uh, he's an Armenian pastor. He was in. Um, Marash, that area. It's in eastern Turkey. And it used to be, well, I don't know if a lot of people don't know about this, but um, during World War One, the Turks, during the, during the war, in order to solve their eastern problem, drove about two million Armenians out of eastern Turkey. And about a million and a half died. So this is his story of, of how the Turks worked with the Armenians. Now, there's a lot of really important things that we can learn about um, history, about what happened in the past. I don't believe things exactly repeat, but uh, we can definitely learn from the past. And so... A lot of the same thoughts. They they'd lived there in in uh, Turkey for four thousand years, the Armenian people, and so they couldn't even imagine leaving that area. And for the Turks, who are Muslim, to drive them out, it's um, they couldn't believe their neighbors would do that kind of thing to them, but they did. And it makes me think a lot about today. Um, a lot of people can't imagine that all this stuff is going to happen. Um, all this financial ruin, all the fighting, all the disasters that are going to happen in this country. That all the arrests that our own government, our own police are going to do against their own people try and take away guns it, it's going to be a horrible situation but I look at these these Armenians okay for the most part they didn't they weren't able to defend themselves but there was a little village called Zetun where a few brothers the Chakalov brothers were able to uh, fight and to defend against these um, Turks, and they're able to save themselves. Now, I f I believe we have a right to defend ourselves, and uh, it's going to come down to that, I'm sure. As far as being organized, and as far as being um, united, I don't know how that's going to happen. Most people don't even know that we're being, that basically we've been betrayed by our own people, by um, globalists who have brought in uh, soldiers from other countries to try and uh, control us, actually to kill most of us. Um, I'm sure I, I have my name on a list somewhere. Uh, if you have any kind of influence or any kind of uh, intelligence, they're not going to, they know that you're a, a threat and they would try and arrest you and kill you. Um, there's already ports of these uh, detention centers. Alex Jones talks about them. I'm sure it's true. Even Jesse Ventura was uh, showing pictures of him. And so, um, it's not a big surprise. It's just, uh, it's hard to accept that our own government, but they're not our own government. They're, these I don't know who these people are, but um, we've been sold out, and we're going to see what happens real soon. So, uh, anyway, just from the lessons of history, we need to, to fight. Thanks.